Hey, what's going on? It's James Canzanella, your Affiliate Hero, and in today's awesome video, what I'm gonna be doing is going over sales funnels for beginners, along with a look at a couple five slash six figure sales funnels that are pretty easy to copy and model yourself. Now, this idea for this video came up because I think it was the last video or two I talked about. Uh, there was one time where I had a funnel where it was like, I don't know, around 1,000, maybe 2,000 spent, and like, you know, revenue back was like 10,000. And I remember, I think I posted a picture about that on Facebook a long time ago. As you can see, it was a long time ago. And uh, this isn't the same one, but this was a sample, uh, a picture I took where it really changed kind of my mind and changed my whole perspective about building a list. So uh, this was pretty much, I was running a very small amount of paid traffic. So uh, don't focus on like the ROI here because I was taking a sample of subscribers I already had while doing a little bit of paid advertising at the time. But let me actually read what I wrote here because it's very important. So just recently, which was a while back, I took a small sample of 671 subscribers in one month's time. And while the numbers weren't where I want them to be yet, perhaps this will give you some insight on paid traffic, whether it's paid traffic, free traffic, or just the fact of getting subscribers. So uh, 671 unique clicks, which were subscribers, brought in $5,361, meaning each subscriber is worth around $8 each. So remember, this was from a few new leads along with most of them were from leads that were already on my list, okay? That's only after one month, meaning that the value of those subscribers are going to go up, especially with recurring offers. And when you think about the long term, I'm sure you can imagine the value of those who stick around for months and even years. Compare that $8 to getting a lead in the IM niche for around $1 to $4, and then business has simply become a math equation. This is something I've become absolutely obsessed with lately back at the time, and I remember that you do too. Instead of signing off fat checks to the tax men, use that money to invest in your business and focus on growing it long term. So, I knew that like the power of the list was, you know, awesome. And then I'm like, this was an Improvely, by the way. So at the time I had gotten Improvely. I'm like, let me just see how much my list is worth. So at the time I had created a funnel. This was when I was selling my products and I pretty much, you know, I was getting leads and, you know, focusing on seeing how much my possible subscri subscribers could be worth. So what I did is out of the people who ended up seeing the offer and out of the people who were coming new onto my list, this is what I came up with. And it's, pretty uh, amazing when you think about it when a person is worth around eight dollars each especially when you consider that you know getting a lead depending on where you're going to be getting it, it could be one two three or four dollars depending on how and where you get it but that's just kind of like the primer uh, for what I'm going to show you today is because I want to show you two funnels uh, one that I'm using right now it's working very well and the other one which I was using which is kind of going to be this so I'm going to walk you through both using click funnels so let's go to the first one which you've probably seen before now, this is going to be my affiliate funnel, which has certainly helped me do at least six figures in revenue when it comes to affiliate marketing. I did a video about that with all the proof and stuff, so I'm not going to go crazy detail into that. In fact, you've probably seen this before where it's actually going to be my lead magnet, which you can see right here, uh, where you get a free cheat sheet when it comes to some of the best affiliate offers to promote. And then, of course, after that, what happens is they get taken to the... Uh, download page, which I'll show you here. You've probably seen this before if you've already gone through it. Now, this is actually a very simple setup when it comes to a funnel, especially for an affiliate marketing funnel. But the cool thing about it is that a lot of people don't realize how deep it goes. Like they just see a thank you page. A lot of times someone might say like, James, you're not even monetizing your thank you page. And I know this, <laughs> that's fine. I might in the future, but I have no uh, plans to right now, as I've talked about this before. I just want to get have people get what they requested. And then from there, you can do all the follow-ups when it comes to email marketing. So if you look down here, the scroll bar goes down very far. I'm not going to go all the way down, but pretty much if you've gone through any of my emails, you know, I provide a lot of videos when it comes to training. And then of course I will do like product reviews and bonuses. As you can see a few days in, uh, I go after the uh, one funnel away. I do review and bonuses for that. And pretty much I do a lot of things that are going to be related to anything that's interested or related to um, affiliate marketing. So for example, after they go through these two pages, then every email is going to be sending out to some of these pages. So for example, after the download, probably two days after that, starting from scratch, they will go here. Okay, where I'll do an email and it says, what if you lost everything or we're starting from scratch? So here I give them a free training. You might've seen this video before. Then of course, underneath it, I talk about a resource where if they want more information, they can actually click on that and it goes to my bonus page when it comes to OFA, which is the one funnel away challenge I'll show you here. 
there it is. So that's just all the stuff for OFA anyway. And then it pretty much just repeats the process over and over. The cool thing about this is that you can go as long or as deep as, you know, it's really up to you depending on how many offers there are, any good offers. Obviously, there's a million offers out there, but not all of them are worth promoting. And that's a very simple funnel when it comes to promoting affiliate offers. Just make sure that they are targeted and they are the right ones for your niche, obviously, because you can do a lot of offers out there, but sometimes... You are going to have to test them just to see what, what works best for you. But in a nutshell, what you're doing is, you know, free traffic, free traffic, paid traffic to your, uh, I was looking at the free gift here, to your opt-in page. They opt in, okay? They get what they requested. Then from then, it's just emails, you know, one to a landing page, to a landing page, to a landing page. And you can repeat that until the end of time, okay? So that's the first one. And now I want to go over and show you this one, okay? So this actually put together, uh, I don't actually, I do have my old funnels that, uh, for this when I was selling my products, but they are buried in the click funnels archives where there's like, there's like hundreds of them. Cause every time you go to delete a funnel, this archives it. So I didn't want to dig it up. Plus all the pages were going to be out of whack. So I actually set it up how I was setting up before. So first and foremost, you might have a squeeze page at the top of the funnel. This is a very standard funnel when it comes to selling an information product, anything similar to that. Okay. You've seen a squeeze page, so I'm not going to show you too much of that. Uh, and just so you know, I used a ton of different templates. ClickFunnels comes with a bunch of templates. So what I did is just throw a random template on. So this funnel is going to be all different colors and all different themes. Don't worry about that. Just get the main idea behind it. So uh, at the time when I was selling something, it was probably for $7. It was like a low ticket offer. Uh, this is just a simple VSL page where usually you have a video sales letter as opposed to a long form sales letter. I usually do long form sales letters because those are easier to crank out. You can do both, obviously, if you're interested in that. Then, of course, this is just some extra stuff. Like I said, just a template that came up. After that, they would click on the Get Started Now button. And where they would get taken to is the order form. Now, uh, the reason, one of the biggest reasons why I started ClickFunnels uh, was a few, one was for like one click upsells, one was to actually start implementing credit cards, and another really big one that helped me out a ton was the order bump. So if you have any type of sales funnel, whether you're using ClickFunnels or anything else, I highly recommend that you utilize these. When I first started utilizing um, order bumps, I had a 33% take rate. So so the front end offer was $7, and then the order bump I think was 17 or 19, I think it was 19, and 33% of all my customers took it. So I didn't have that before. So that was like, I was just leaving money on the table, so to speak. And it was very easy to make. The front end was like a PDF and a cheat sheet. And all I did was create the product in video form because some people like video, plus video has a much higher perceived value. So that's pretty much what I did for the order bump. And it was a very uh, easy and smooth transaction. If someone wants it after hitting all their details, all they do is got to do that. Obviously, you set it up in the ClickFunnels backend, but it's very easy to do. It's a great way to increase your income. Heck, that by itself could probably pay for like a sales funnel builder itself. Okay. Here's another really cool page. So we have the upsell page. This is very simple. Uh, after, you know, you make a sale, you say like, hey, you just got a car. Would you like leather seats with it? Hey, you just got a hamburger. Would you like fries with that? Okay. The importance of upsells is that you got to make sure that they are congruent, but not exactly what they got. For example, if I was selling an affiliate marketing course, you know, about how to get traffic on Facebook, a good ups upsell might be like email follow-ups. Okay. While it isn't going to be, you know, Facebook, once again, you want to make sure that it's going to be something that complements it. Because if someone's getting traffic on Facebook and they're getting leads, they might want to know how to actually write the email follow up so they can get more conversions and more sales. So keep that in mind. I've seen that before where if someone gets like a weight loss offer, I think it was Russell Brunson talking about that. And the upsell once again is like another weight loss product. It's going to make it seem like what they were selling in the first place was incomplete. And that's not a good thing. So if someone was selling a weight loss product, a good upsell would be like, say, a workout routine or maybe like a done for you uh, workout routine, you know, something similar to that where it complements it, but it's not identical to it. OK, and I believe I forgot to put the downsell here. Let me slide this right here. So after the upsell would be a downsell page, uh, pretty much if someone says like, hey, I'm not interested in this, but, you know, usually you take away a bonus, you can actually give a better price. So if you're selling something for 47 and you were selling, let's just say it was, I don't know, what were you selling? <laughs> you were selling two things for that price. What you could do is actually remove one of them to justify you lowering the price. And this can also give you maybe 10, 15, 20% more takes. So just like this, for example, say the other one was 49. Here's a, here's a, 
great example of this. So let's just say that you were selling two of these for an upsell. And you said like, hey, maybe 49 was too much for you. So I'm just going to give you one instead for a price of, you know, whatever it is, 29, 30, 30 bucks, whatever it is. It's just another option to either lower the price, remove some bonuses, and of course, make another sell. So that's what a down sell pretty much looks like. And then from there, you go to the order confirmation. The cool thing about this is that it has all the orders that were processed. So right here, it would be dynamically updated. So if they purchase the front end, it would have it here with a link to the thank you page. If they bought the order bump, that would be there. If they bought the upsell, that would be there. Maybe they skipped the upsell and went to the downsell, that would be there too, along with the prices that they paid. And of course, since it's a thank you page, this is just a random template. It's gonna have all the other steps you wanna put in there. Maybe you wanna have them register for a webinar. Maybe you wanna give them a free gift. Maybe you want them to book a free call. Whatever it's going to be, it's gonna be completely up to you, okay? Then of course, we have the simple thank you page. You've seen these a million times before. Once again, this is a template, but this is where they're going to download their specific products. You're probably going to need multiple thank you pages if you go this route. Obviously, if you're doing a product that is a front end, an order bump, and like an upsell, that means you're gonna need like three different thank you pages, which is easy to do, but this is just an example of one. And I really like this thank you page simply because it's in steps. It's very easy for people to follow. So you pretty much going from top to bottom, you'd say step one, you know, if they want to watch a webinar replay, obviously you can edit all of this, register your account. Maybe they got some membership thing. Uh, I don't know what objective headline three is all about, but either way, it would be something uh, you can obviously tweak and edit. And of course, check your mail. Maybe you sent them an extra gift, whatever it's going to be. Uh, and that's pretty much walking you through what another good funnel would look like when it comes to actually selling an offer. The cool thing about this is that, you know, if you want to do any type of funnel, obviously this is going to be great for selling a product or offer. And then you have the other type of funnel, which I love doing, which is going to be for affiliate marketing, where you pretty much just keep adding to it. But either way, there's plenty of ways to actually utilize funnels, whether it be for webinars, whether it be for memberships, whether it be for pre-sell pages, whether it be for bonus pages, whether it's going to be for selling a product, even if you don't have one, there's actually a ton of them. I hope you got some value out of these because these are two great types of funnels that actually really work well. If you'd like to see some more funnels, I will put a link down below for a free presentation where you can see someone who literally went from zero to hero by utilizing a ton of different funnels in a nice little niche actually about weight loss, which I know I mentioned before, you can see how she really uh, dominated the sector, so to speak, when it comes to weight loss, utilizing funnels and all these different types of funnels kind of pieced together to make a really big impact on others. Okay, so that's about it. Hope you got a lot out of this. I am James Canzanella. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.